Comfort is the god of this generation. Andy Elliott, a superstar marketer and salesperson, said this a while back. And it can't be more true. My own generation is doomed with brain rot, instant dopamine, and so many sources of pure fucking degeneracy that keeps us trapped in comfort. My life was disastrous. I never took any risks. I never did anything that took any effort. And I wasn't even happy. I was living a soft dick life. Never doing anything that took more effort than just moving my joysticks around or searching up Pornhub on my computer. When I could have been taking risks, doing things that were uncomfortable, and making real progress, having like this hard dick life. So in this video, I want to show you how you can embrace discomfort and sort of regain that hard dick life again that I'm talking about. To stop being so doughy and soft and to start doing things that are hard. I want to give you a way that you can break off from this generation's laziness, doughiness, and to become a beacon of hope for everyone around you. To show you that people can, in this generation, embrace discomfort. So one habit I've seen most millionaires, billionaires, the richest people, most powerful people in the world do, is that they strive for discomfort. Usually at least once a week they do something that takes them out of their comfort zone. They'll fly out to Bali to learn how to fight Muay Thai, they'll run a marathon, they'll do so many random things just to embrace discomfort. They'll do anything to make themselves uncomfortable in order to make the rest of their lives, days, and endeavors just so much easier. And you can do this too. Cold showers, runs, hikes, personal endeavors, whatever it is, you have to embrace discomfort through it. I spoke with this one guy who's a firefighter, and he says that he embraces discomfort through firefighting and like jumping into the fire and like doing the stuff that nobody else wants to do. There's so many ways to just embrace your own type of discomfort and pain that it's pretty easy to get started. And in the words of Jocko Willink, an ex-marine and the author of Discipline Equals Freedom, if you want to get stronger, you've got to do things that require strength. If you want to get tougher, you've got to do things that require toughness. So discomfort can also be something that makes you tough. Doing things that require just toughness and strength. Or just doing the things you really don't want to do. That requires toughness and strength. And by embracing that discomfort right there, you grow as a person. You should strive to do something uncomfortable every single day through our daily habits. Reading, meditating, journaling, anything that you don't want to do, you probably should do to embrace discomfort. We always want to embrace discomfort in our daily lives. But the question is, why? Imagine the life of a lazy POS, sitting on the couch, eating chips, eating french fries, whatever. He's just watching movies, he doesn't care about anything else. He doesn't embrace discomfort at all. Do you think he's gonna get very far in life doing fucking nothing? He's soggy. He doesn't live a life worth living with no excitement, with no purpose or joy. Now imagine the life of someone that does embrace discomfort. Their life's gonna be filled with so much pain, discomfort, novelty. But this discomfort's a good thing. It means that this person's growing. They're always moving around and doing things. Their life's fucking exciting. Filled with new things, amazing things, and achievement. Andy Elliott also said this. Think about this. Everything good and meaningful in your life has come from discomfort. Take a second to think about this, like pause the video if you have to. When was the last time something good in your life didn't come from discomfort? Something self-made, something you created, something amazing. Through discomfort, we create even more progress by setting almost like a higher standard for ourselves for progress and then action. It probably makes your day a little easier. Discomfort leads to easier progress, more progress overall. Everyone's definition of discomfort is different. For some people, it can be running a mile. For some people, running a marathon. Obviously, the guy running a marathon, running one mile is nothing to him. So if he can run a marathon, obviously running a mile isn't uncomfortable to him. And he can't use that as an excuse. I'm talking about the trap of discipline. As we build up our tolerance and discipline towards these habits that make us uncomfortable, they're slowly going to start getting more and more comfortable. But we need to avoid that because we need to be uncomfortable. It's almost like progressive overload in the gym. You slowly start adding more and more weight, more and more discomfort in your life. So the person running one mile, once he's comfortable with that mile, just adds another one. He starts running two miles. He adds challenges in his life that's novel and amazing. And that's how he gets the most out of being uncomfortable. He progressively overloads his discomfort to benefit him the most. Alright, that's it. Thank you. Comment, like, subscribe, do all that for the algo. Uh.